Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Thanks for joining me to do a little crafting. Um, I actually am a little tired today. Last night I got in from a really fun girls week uh, in Utah. And uh, actually we had so much fun. Oh my goodness. Uh, several of my Stampin', good Stampin' Up! demonstrator friends and I, we got together in Park City, Utah and just spent the week together, had a really wonderful time just shopping, lots of crafting, and uh, going out. We made dinner a few times at the lodge we were staying at. And uh, we also, too, we got a really awesome opportunity to go see the Stampin' Up! home office in, River in uh, Riverton, Utah. In fact, we totally lucked out, and we ran into Sarah Douglas, who is the CEO of Stampin' Up! I wanted to share with you real quick this picture because it was just such a treat to be able to to uh, see her real quick and just say hello. And it was, the trip was just amazing. The Stampin' Up! office, if you've never been there, is such an amazingly beautiful building. And they are just so, and just employee friendly. They do so many awesome things for their employees. So we had a wonderful time, uh, but I am a little bit tired. It was kind of hard not to sleep in my own bed. And, uh, but to, so today's project is very, very simple because I kind of figured I was gonna be a little sleepy today. So I, uh, and we're going to do a really simple project using really pretty envelopes. So, um, you know, we always have those envelopes in our stash. Like if you have a paper pumpkin or you have leftover envelopes from like one of the memory and more kits, then this is a way, great way that you can use them up. So let me go on ahead and share with you today's project. Now, if you have not joined me before, I am Deborah Harrison with Simply Sweet and Neat Designs, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. And I'd love to come join you and craft each Friday at three o'clock central time. So uh, one of the things, oh, before I forget, I was really, really hoping to be able to do the drawing for the March Mystery Hostess uh, during today's live. But guys, I got to be fair with you. Um, my brain is mush right now, getting home uh, last night and trying to catch up on things this morning. So I don't want to make any mistakes. So instead, I'm hoping either later tonight or tomorrow, I will do that drawing and I will uh, post that on my Facebook group. And if you are one of the winners, then I will definitely reach out to you and let you know that you won. So really exciting. I think we're up to like $160 in Stampin' Rewards. So somebody's going to have a really fun shopping spree. All right. So let me go ahead and get my camera down and we will go ahead and get into today's project. Hi, thanks for joining me. As you hop on, say hello. Let me know who's on here with me. And if you stop by and watch the replay later, just say hello. All right, like I said, really, really simple project. Um, my mother had family that lived somewhere on in East Texas and we went to go visit them. And she said it was such a very, very small town. She said, if you, if you blink, you'll miss it. And I feel like today's project is just like that. If you blink, you will miss it because it's so, so simple. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with one of the really pretty mem uh, Heart and Home Memories and More cards. Now, I wanted to show you the pack. In the pack, you get like 10 of these really beautiful striped envelopes. Now, I did have some card bases, but as you see, this is all that I have left because I used it in the March uh, Sweet Creations Club, so I don't have any more card bases. But you get 10 card bases, 10 of the striped envelopes. And then you also get 10 of these really beautiful smaller envelopes and some card bases to go with them. So it's all for $10, really fun packet. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take our envelope. We're just going to fold back this really pretty envelope flap. And then I found these honey stinger waffles. They're like um, those little waffle cookies. They're so tasty. I found these on Amazon. And so what I'm going to do is I am just going to stick this inside the envelope. I'm probably gonna have to yeah, tuck in one of the ends here to get it to fit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap some of the Bumblebee gingham ribbon. Now this is actually one of the products that's retiring in from the annual catalog. And I think it's like 20% off, so really fun ribbon. So I'm just going to tie this off so that we have it here. Have a little accent color. And then, really, really simple, we're gonna take, I punched out with the Label Me Lovely Punch, I punched out a label in thick basic white cardstock, 
And I'm going to stamp a sentiment from the Honey Bee Home Stamp Set on the top. And it says, Stay Wonderful. And then I'm going to stamp a B, a solid, uh, a full B at the bottom. Now, in my sample, I did use the Misty Moonlight for my sentiment. But I think I'm just going to use Basic Black for both. So I'm going to stamp here at the top the Stay Wonderful. And then underneath that, I'm going to stamp the B. And then all I need to do is I'm going to take my Stampin' Blends. Now, I'm using So Saffron today. And I'm going to color in the body of this little bumblebee. Really simple. Just a little bit of coloring. I'm going to take the light on the So Saffron. Now, um, what would be really fun is to add some Wink of Stella, little uh, glitter pen to the wings to kind of give it a little bit of sparkle, but I'm not going to do that today. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put dimensionals here on the back. Now, because I have ribbon running down the center here, I want my dimensionals to go on the end so that it straddles the ribbon. Do that. And then, guys, we only have one last thing to do, and that is to add some really fun bling with our pearls. So I'm going to put a little pearl on each side of my label. And that is it, guys. Such a simple project for today. Told you it was going to be easy, really easy. So there you go. That is the project. Now, this is the one with just basic black. This is the one with the sentiment with the misty moonlight. All right, so guys, that is the project today. I want to share with you. Now, if you are part of my email subscript or my email list, you will get the project sheet for today's project with the link to shop. Like I said, the Misty, the Misty Moonlight is retiring and the Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon is retiring. I have my Rainbow Retreat has closed right now. I might have one kit left, but I want to let the dust settle uh, after coming home. Make sure that I have collected everybody's information because I don't want to miss anybody and accidentally make a mistake. But I do still have spots open for my April Sweet Creations Club. You uh, making some really pretty projects with the artfully layered bundle. And there is an optional add-on to add on the Island Vibes mini album kit to that registration. And then I also, too, I have my April Stampin' Bunko. This is where we play Bunko online for Stampin' Up! product prizes. And we just have a really fun time on Zoom playing and visiting. Now, I do want to share with you the projects for the April Bunko. In fact, this is one of the project uh, kits that I was working on while I was in Utah. So just really fun little, let's see if we can get these out. We have this really fun little crate box that we'll be making and it fits two of these little mini pots. And then of course we, um, we have to have some, some seeds to plant. So a little package of the daisy seeds and then we'll be making this really pretty card. Now, the uh, the cost will include a packet of the Bumblebee trinkets as well. So guys, that's what I have to share with you today. I hope that y'all enjoyed today's project. Thank you so much for joining me. I do have just a few spots left for Bunko, so if you haven't signed up already, make sure you hop over, sign up right away. There's, like I said, just a few spots left. Until then, guys, thanks for joining me, and we will see you next Friday. Take care. Bye, guys.